Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Loz and I do tarot card readings um, to tell you about your future. Um, today we're going to be doing when will you meet the one and who are they? Who is it that you're going to be with for the rest of your life? Who are you going to marry if marriage is in your ideology? Um, and I'm going to try and get really specific and find out when are you going to meet them? How long until you meet them? What are they like? Okay, so we're going to have a bit of a long reading. Um, I am shooting at night time and I think the lighting in here is playing out with my camera. So my camera doesn't want to focus. <laughs> so I do apologize if that presents as an issue throughout the video, but I'm going to try my best to not make it an issue. Okay, so we've got pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. The um, piles have not yet been shuffled or selected. I'm going to do that for you so that you can see that the intentions are all pure um, and cleansed. Okay, so we have got a tiger's eye here. Uh, so I'm just going to... Oh, it looks like it's focusing. That's exciting. Okay, so we've got tiger's eye. We have moonstone. Oh, yes, it's focusing. Thank goodness. Okay. And we have citrine. And usually I don't know the names of my crystals, but I know them today, which is also exciting. <laughs> okay, so I ask you to choose your pile based off your intuition, not just from which crystal you find to be the most beautiful. Um, and when you're ready, we will get stuck into it. The timestamps will be down below in the description box. Feel free to pause the video if you need a bit of extra time. Um, and you can meditate on the decks if you would like to. Okay, let's get started. Hello, group number one. All right, so we're going to start with the Rider right Waite Sentinel Tarot deck. Give them a cleanse, give them a shuffle and set the intention. So we'll start off with the question. Um, we'll start off with the question. Um, when you're going to meet the one. Okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune and Death in Reverse. Just jumped out. Okay, and then we're going to ask um, who is the one? Who are you going to marry? What are they like? Ooh, Ace of Wands and Strength in Reverse. Okay, and then we're going to ask how long until you meet them. Oh my lord, okay. Oh, it's all the way underneath the table. Sorry, sorry guys. Not from the camera. Oh, seven of swords. Okay, so this could be seven months or seven weeks or seven days, seven hours. <laughs> seven. Keep that number in mind, okay? Whatever resonates more so with you. Um, but yeah, seven. Okay, hey, so let's go to the Moonology cards for some further clarification. And we're going to ask the Moonology cards, um, who are you going to marry? Or who is the one for you? Not everyone wants to get married, which is pretty fun. I just dropped a card, but I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Oh. <sighs> I just sound like an old lady. Confidence is your key to success. New Moon and Leo. Okay, so they're going to be a confident person. They could be a Leo. Well. Personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. 
It's interesting that it's the Leo and then the Cancer moons. So it might be towards the end of July, start of August that you meet them even. Which is, I mean, I guess the July is the seventh month. So that could be what the number seven is indicative of. Okay, I think the Moonology cards have had enough. They aren't moving very nicely for me anymore. Okay, and then we're going to get the Animal Spirit Guide deck. And this is going to tell us more about their personality. Oh, we got two. Okay, we've got the horse. That's a beautiful energy to have. Oh, and the eagle. Very good, very nice energy. This is a very fiery, passionate, um, yet grounded and steady person who's really got the world at their feet. Very successful person I'm engaging. Okay, um, so let's take a little bit of a deeper look. Okay, so as usual with <laughs> my readings, um, I tend to ask questions and the universe gives me answers to other things <laughs> first and then maybe we'll answer my questions later because aside from this card which is indicative of like a seven like the month of July or like seven months seven weeks we'll put that aside we've got the wheel of fortune death ace of wands and strength and this is telling me a story about um your opportunities that are coming but what struggles you're going to face with this person okay and then we've got when they're coming into your life and what this person is like, okay? <laughs> so the reading kind of mapped out differently, but we'll get some further clarification later from some of the Oracle decks. But the Wheel of Fortune shows that you're in a prime time for things to come your way, especially in relationships. It's a prime time for new relationships to come your way, for new love to come your way, okay? But the Death card in reverse is indicative that you are not receptive to change you're not receptive to these new things you are frightful you're fearful even of death itself um you're constantly trying to control when things are going to happen you're constantly trying to control your fate um and you like exact details like i think that you hold on to details a little bit too tightly to your detriment so um you might be you know looking for synchronicities but you might be over noticing things that aren't necessarily synchronicities all the time. Um, so like, for example, like I was in one of these phases once where I used to get on the bus every day at the exact same time. And because I caught the bus at the same time, by the time I got on the bus and I sat down and I took a deep breath in and out, I would check my phone and I would always check my phone at 3.33. And I was seeing that as a synchronicity, but when in reality, it was like more so like an internal habit um, of mine. It was like internal clockwork that I had that fated me to see that number every single day. And I was constantly worried, like, what does this number mean? What's it going to bring into my life? The number three, but ultimately it didn't really resonate with my life at that time. Um, so that's what I mean by you might be over searching for synchronicities. Sometimes it's not necessarily a synchronicity. Um, sometimes not necessarily everything is a sign. Um, but you need to trust in fate. You need to trust in the wheel of fortune. And the Ace of Wands card is a confirmation that yes, this relationship is coming. This is a really good time for you to start a new relationship. He or she um, or they are coming into your life. There's no question about it. So you don't need to worry about that. You just need to trust in the universe. And the strength card in reverse is again that control factor like you especially the strength card with leo i think you must be um a leo sign um or um on the cusp maybe between cancer and leo or um leo and and libra but i think that a lesson for you is to let go and to allow love to come into your life and not try to control it and not um, be afraid of what love is going to bring into your life. I think um, that maybe you 
um, you're either like the dominant person or the submissive person in a relationship and you have fears surrounding the opposite so if you're dominant you have fears around being submissive and I'm not like I don't want to take this out of connotation I'm not talking sexually I'm talking in control of life okay and if you're submissive then you fear having to be decisive if you're having to take control but I get the feeling like because you've got this um element of wanting to know exactly what's going on all the time that you're more of a dominant person and you really like to take life by the reins and control it and you know you are very good at taming the line when you're in balance but I think at the moment you're out of balance okay have confidence and faith in what is being offered to you okay um and then a personal issue reaches resolution so I think you're going to release that energy okay let's take some of the um Arthurian tarot for clarification Okay, you're ready to share with somebody. The lover is coming into your life. Trust in it, okay? That's like, you've got the Ace of Wands, yes, confirmation, okay? You've got the Wheel of Fortune, and you've got the Two of Cups now, okay? The Two of Cups is, look at these two little birdies sharing in the pool, okay? They're sharing in emotional fulfillment. They're sharing in love. They're sharing in connection, okay? Spiritual connection as well, all right? So, you know, the Two of Cups, especially in... The sentinel deck you can see the two snake the two serpents that intertwine them okay they share emotional and spiritual connection there's no doubt about it that's coming into your life okay so just have faith okay now let's see what we can find out about their personality with the horse and the eagle energy so the horse is an earth energy and the eagle is an earth energy which is interesting because they're opposite ends of the spectrum. So, where are we, horsey? Okay, yeah. So, we're just referring to the Animal Spirit Guidebook. And we've got the horse there. So, momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. The horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. So, it's kind of like a king energy. They have been on some journeys. And they are well within their power. They are consolidated in their power. It provides us with momentum so reliable, so supportive, that you can ride on its back toward any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice. Physical stamina and mental focus are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. Okay, so they may very well be physically strong, physically fit, um, they're going to be reliable and they're going to be very supportive and they're going to help propel you towards your goals, okay? They, um, I think they're going to be spiritual as well because this reminds me of the third eye. So I think they're going to be able to, they're very perceptive, they're going to be able to see more than what most people can interpret but you as their soulmate or twin flame also have that ability so i think again because you've got the lovers and you've got that spiritual connection you're really going to have that um deep understanding of one another you're drinking from the same um pool of consciousness okay so you you really are able to interpret one another clearly okay and then we've got the eagle which is the air energy Actually, I just want to touch note on what an earth energy is like. If I can find it here. Yeah. So, the suit of survival and instinct. The earth creatures represent our relationships with fears and habits. In general, the creatures of this suit are grounded, dependable, and supportive. Okay, very good. Um, but they are drawn to routine. They often become stuck in their ways. Um... <sighs> They are practical and they are very, um, they find movement and exercise especially important, okay? And then the air energy, 
they move quickly and decisively. Um, they see more than others. So yeah, like that third eye. Um, they love movement and mobility. Yeah, I think this person could be like an athlete. They're going to be very active. Their job is going to involve a lot of movement on their feet. Um, but they can sometimes become ungrounded because they're always moving so quickly that they sometimes become ungrounded. So I guess it's good that they have that earth energy. Perhaps they're going to be really balanced people, really good at being free and um, fast with their decisions and fast with their movement when they need to be, but grounded in reality and um, um, they just have that, that healthy momentum. Um... Yeah, okay, that's all we have for air. So let's go to the eagle. Okay, so the eagle, all pervading power, truth seeker, transforms karma. The noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. This great bird is both physically and spiritually strong and represents mastery over the elements of fire and air. When the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine. Grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. So when they're in balance, they're bright, they're radiant, they enjoy challenges, but they can be controlling when they're out of balance, okay? So you might find they're a little bit controlling sometimes. Um, and I think that's because they have so much momentum that they like like to do things the way that they have planned it out because they move so quickly they don't have time to like rethink their plan. Um, but when it says like I can really just I just have this visualization. So I feel like they're going to be physically very beautiful as well. And yeah, they they might even be psychic or very intuitive because they've got that eagle energy, the air energy, being able to see beyond, being able to see things that from a perspective that other people can't see and they've got a wide and open third eye so very clear thinkers level-headed stable reliable people yeah okay and we're going to take some more clarification from the angel oracle friendship so you're gonna have a friendship with this person and we've got intention so set your intention to be open and willing to accept love into your life stop being afraid of it yeah and then we'll take a message from the mermaid oracles okay for our final message self-employment all right so this person is very um, much an entrepreneur or they own their own business um, which makes sense because they have the world at their feet they're, they're in that horse and eagle energy with so much momentum and capability behind them why wouldn't they be an excellent entrepreneur and then they've got alchemy so everything they touch turns into gold so they're really good at transforming things into opportunity they're really good at seeing the positive side of things you know turning um trash into treasure that kind of thing and they could be actually quite rich you know alchemy sometimes is the suggestion of personal wealth so there's that too but yeah i hope that you found this reading useful and i hope it resonated with you if it did leave a comment down below and please like share and subscribe and um if you'd like a personal reading then my email address is in the description box down below thanks so much for spending time with me bye Hello, group number two. Okay, so we're going to start with the right away Sentinel Tarot deck as usual. My fave. And we're going to set the intention. In group number one, I tried to section each card for different questions, but that it didn't work. <laughs> the cards came out as they wanted to, so that's how we're going to go. So we have the three of wands in reverse, and the intention and the question um questions are 
who are you going to marry or if you're not into marriage who are you going to be with for the rest of your life who is the love of your life who is your soulmate what are they like when are you going to meet them okay so hello oh hello we've got the king of cups and oh, amazing we've got the ace of cups beautiful Beautiful. If you guys can't tell, I'm really hyped today. This is my second video for today, and in both of them, I've been like a little bit more weird, <laughs> which is like my natural self. I try to be calm in my videos and relaxing, but I'm just letting my weirdness out. I've been told lately in my pick a card readings that I need to let it out, so that's what I'm doing. We've got the Nine of Cups. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind. And we've got, oh, if I can pick it up. The strength card, beautiful stuff, guys. Very beautiful stuff. And I do just want to take one more card for a general time frame of when you're going to meet this person. So whatever card we get, we're going to use that as a base of when we're going to meet this person. Nine of Wands. So it could be nine months, nine weeks, nine days, nine hours. You decide whatever resonates with you. Maybe some of some of the other cards will give us some further clarification. We'll see. Okay, and we're gonna take some of the Moonology cards, the Moonology deck. These lovely guys here. No, you know what, you know what, I actually want to do some of the Arthurian Tarot. Sorry, my guy was just telling me then that like, I picked up the wrong deck, so let's do some of these guys. It's not my usual pattern, but we'll see what comes out. There's obviously a reason for it. Nine of Cups, holy guacamole, you guys. This cup energy is killing it today. This is gonna be one hella fulfilling relationship. For sure. Ten of Wands. Don't know why, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay, nine to 10 months, okay, that's why. Now let's ask the Moonology cards. Hello. Oh, I didn't even have to shuffle it. Just came out. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. And your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Okay, and then we're going to consult the Animal Spirit Guide deck on what kind of personality your person has. I think we've got a lot of answers from the tarot anyway on that, but let's just get some further confirmation from the Spirit deck. Ooh, ooh, okay, we've got the Firefly which is an air energy and the fox which is an earth energy I don't know why I thought they were both fire energies when I pulled them out and then I saw the symbols so that's interesting maybe your person has a little bit of a fire energy to them as well okay so three of wands in reverse I think the waiting is over you know the three of wands is very much like you're waiting for your ships to come across the ocean you're waiting for that emotional fulfillment um and in 
reverse, to me, it's like the waiting is over. Um, but I'm just going to consult the book just to double check. Okay, so I consulted the book. It doesn't resonate with me. What I'm really getting about this is that the waiting is over, okay? You've been contemplating. You've been, you know, you... The less of proceeding the three of wands is the two of wands. You had to make a decision which has brought you to this new journey, um, perhaps to do with travel. Um, but ultimately, you were contemplating something and you're waiting for something to come into your life, okay? The three of wands, you know, he looks out into the mountains, into the ocean, waiting for new opportunities to come, okay? So to me, it's indicative of the waiting is over. This person's coming into your life soon okay and we have got the nine of wands and the ten of wands so i'm thinking more so nine to ten weeks yeah i'm seeing more nine to ten weeks um nine to ten days even for some of you um more so than nine to ten months but let's not exclude it um it's still a possibility it's obviously not nine to ten years so let's not worry about that <laughs> um okay and i think the tarot's answer a lot about what your person is like so we've got the king of cups so the king of cups is someone who is very emotionally fulfilled they've been on their journey they know how to handle their moods they know how to handle their emotions they're stable amongst um their emotional turmoils okay the f the ins and outs the flows the ups and downs they're stable regardless okay they have a full cup to offer and the king kind of sits there waiting for the right person to come along. So I think this person, whether or not they be male or female, I think they've been waiting for you to come for the right person to come into their life. And the Knight of Cups is someone who is enthusiastic with their approach, is ready to charge into your life with an offer. So I think they finally, they, they've been waiting for you and they finally found you and now they're coming in with this beautiful offer. They're coming in with this offer of emotional fulfillment. Yes, this is coming in. Yes, it's coming soon. Um, the, you know, there's so much joy, so much fulfillment, so much happiness that the cup is literally overflowing and there's a whole pool there as well for even uh, to fill up again. Um, okay, so it's just endl endless happiness, endless fulfillment. This is going to be a really beautiful relationship and this this person is offering this to you, okay, they're going to offer you all this emotional fulfillment, they're going, to, they're going to come to you with the relationship offer as well, okay, and we've got the strength card here, so they're a really strong person, um, again, like I said, with the Knight of Cups, you know, someone who can handle their moodiness, someone who can handle the ebbs and flows of emotions, okay, they know how to tame the lion, they have a lion within them, they're strong, they're powerful, yeah, they know how to tame it, they know how to handle it, okay, um, and we've got Grail Nine, so this is the Nine of Cups, so again, like, you're independent and you're ready for this offer and it's going to be so fulfilling um for you um you know this is represented in the cauldron in the Arthurian tarot so this is like like the emotional fulfillment is literally like emanating into the environment your love is going to spread around you okay you're just going to create more and more love in the atmosphere i know it's cheesy but it's true <laughs> okay and then we've got the firefly and the fox energy. So this is representative of your person's nature and their personality, okay? And because there's so much cup energy, I'm definitely going to say that this person is a water sign, they're a cancer or they're a Pisces, um, something along those lines. I'm feeling more cancer or Pisces than anything else. Um, they really desire intimacy, connection, closeness. So they're going to want to be close to you. They're going to enjoy snuggles, okay? They... Um, might be a little bit needy sometimes because especially with the fox energy when they're not with the people they love they kind of become they start to feel um not dull what's the word i'm looking for they just kind of feel lost i suppose like they find more of their identity with the people that they love they learn from people and they bounce off people Okay, the firefly energy suggests a really creative, imaginative person, you know, who gets inspired very easily and very quickly, um, but that inspiration can quickly fade out, okay? So they need their loved ones around them to help support that energy. Um, it's pure, they're pure, they're radiant, they're illuminating, okay? I can imagine them being very physically beautiful and maybe not even in the conservative sense, but to you, their aura is going to be so bright and illuminating that it's going to be so attractive to you, okay? And then we've got oh, the fox energy, and I'm going to read this directly from the book because it says it better than I ever could, okay? So they're smart, strong, 
Um, they're a strong partner or mate and a wise teacher. The fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes don't do well when they slip away. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this fox energy in combination with the king of cups and the knight of cups, you know, those the knight of cups and the king of cups really like to be close to their loved ones. They're enthusiastic about them. They, you know, they're really um, like supportive of the ones they love. Like I can really imagine this person being the kind of person that like, say you're performing or something that they would stand up in the crowd and be like, that's my wife or that's my husband you know like they'd be really like encouraging towards you and they'd be so so proud of you and um so so grateful to have you in their life okay um and for you you need to hold your vision so i think you need to manifest this person into your life a little bit more um you know you still got a little bit you know that nine to ten week or month period um unless you're the exception hold your vision you know fixed moon and i actually just said in my head fixed cardinal moon which I don't know if that's a thing or not, but like I feel like it's indicative of like um, this isn't going to go away. Like this person is coming into your life regardless um, and the cardinal is like passion and energy, um, but just hold it in your mind to bring them to you sooner, to bring them closer to you sooner. And luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You know, Cupid's bow um, is aiming at you. It's just getting ready to fire and your hard work is paying off. So even like write down lists of like your ideal partner, like, um, to manifest them into your life and that'll help bring them closer to you okay and we're going to take some angel oracle cards for further clarification mm, emerging okay they're emerging into your life it's just a matter of time just hold that vision in your head but they're on their way for sure and we'll take one more card from the mermaid oracle deck Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. Okay, so very much in theme with the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. We've got, like, I can just imagine you, like, trying to stand amongst the waves and you just kept on getting, like, knocked over by the amount of waves that are flooding into you in a good way, not in a bad way. I shouldn't say getting knocked over. You're being made to float amongst it because it's just so fulfilling for you. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it um, useful or helpful or you resonated with it or you got excited because of it. Um, if you did resonate with it, please click like and subscribe and leave a comment down below because I'd really like to connect with you and hear your stories. Um, and if you'd like a personal reading with me, then as usual, my email address is in the description box below. And I will see you in the next reading. Ciao, ciao. Hello, group number three. Now, a little bit of explanation is required here because we already have four cards sitting there. So I thought this was recording when I started shuffling and did my introduction. But as usual with my life at the moment, it wasn't recording. So... <laughs> Here's what we've got so far. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, we've got the Nine of Swords in Reverse, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. And the question or the intention for the cards was who is your soulmate twin flame? Who is the person you're going to marry? If marriage doesn't resonate with you, who is your lifelong partner? What's their personality like? And when are they coming into your life? Okay, so we've got one more tarot card to go. So I do apologize for that, but I promise that I have been shuffling and everything. And had a pure intention for the cards, but oh, oh, okay. We have two that just jumped out, so we'll have an extra tarot for you. Oh, okay, okay. So we've got two of pentacles, mm-hmm, 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 and we've got justice. I love the justice card, seems to be all pervading in my readings, it's just always there. Luckily for me, I like it. All right. Now we're going to consult the, uh, the Moonology. Let's go with Moonology. Okay. Oh, guys, 
says, you are good enough for winning Virgo. What's with this self-depreciation that's going on here? Balance, spirituality and practicality. We know what this means. Twin flame union. Oh yeah, baby. Full moon in Pisces. This is going to be one hell of a romantic relationship with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups involved. Oh yeah. Very romantic indeed. So hopefully you like romance. Me personally, not so much. I don't like the typical idea of romance, like roses and massages. Like I don't really find that stuff romantic. Like I like um, the more deep integral side of it if that makes sense like one of like the best examples of love I've ever seen was when my great uncle died and my cousin um, and her partner were there and it was my cousin's father that died and we were at the funeral and my part um, sorry my cousin's partner's father died on the day of the funeral okay and he didn't say anything to her because he didn't want to distract from her day of saying um, goodbye and releasing her father even though he had just suffered this grievance himself um suddenly so to me that was such a beautiful example very sad but beautiful example of true love and um sacrifice of the self for the other person that's romantic to me and that's the kind of sense of romance that I feel in the energy of the Knight of Cups or the Cups energy. Um, I don't really see like that um, stigmatized sense of romance, like Valentine's Day romance. I see more of that deep energy of romance. Okay. And then we've got your commitment is being tested. Full quarter moon. We might leave it at that. The full moon cards. Moonology. Pardon me. Moonology cards. I just had an ice cream sandwich and now... My belly's reacting because it was dairy and I don't usually eat dairy because I'm trying hard to be vegan but oh, I really wanted a treat. Sorry, don't judge me. Okay, and then we're going to take some of the tarots and the Arthurian tarots. And we're going to ask specifically for a time frame from the Arthurian tarot. Okay, four of swords. So we're looking at four weeks, four months, four days, four hours, who knows. But number four. Okay, um, so keep that number in your mind when looking for this person and we'll see if the Arthurian Tarot has any other messages for us before we put them down. Yes we do. Five of Swords. So four to five months. Okay. Or four to five weeks, but I'm feeling months for you guys. Okay, and then we're going to consult the Animal Spirit deck for some more clarification about their personality. Oh, hello, Mr. Crocodile. Crocodile. Okay, and we also had the sea serpent jump out. Oh no, the snake. Well, I think I saw the sea serpent. I think perhaps we should take the sea serpent into account because I swear to you, I thought that's what I saw fall out. But clearly that wasn't it. But we'll keep that in mind. Okay. So... We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is someone who is really practical, um, devoted, is comfortable with the steady slow burn. Um, they're very committed to their purpose and to their vision. Um, he or she is predictable. They love stability and predictability. Um, but because they're so practical... Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles energy has a tendency to be aloof. But this is where this person is really perfectly balanced because you've got the Knight of Cups here and that's going to balance out that Knight of Pentacles energy and vice versa, okay? Because the Knight of Cups is somebody who is very like um, 
emotion, like loves emotions, <laughs> loves emotions. <laughs> how how do I want to put this? Very romantic, very um, deep in their emotion is what I'm trying to say. Um, they like to be close to you. They're enthusiastic about love. They're enthusiastic about you. Okay, they like to celebrate you. Um, they're kind of like the Pisces kind of energy in love or Cancer energy. And especially because we've got Pisces here, I can see that's how they will be in love with you. But they've got that Knight of Pentacles energy to balance them out so they're not too needy, okay? And um, they're also going to offer you, I believe, financial stability because they're both offering something. So they're going to offer you a relationship with emotional fulfillment and they're going to offer you financial fulfillment. And for some reason, I'm also drawn to these wings on his helmet. Let me sit on that to figure out what that means to me. I don't really know what that means to me quite yet. I'm going to sit on that for a little while, okay? And then we've got the Ace of Cups. So this is just so much joy, so much fulfillment that your cup is literally overflowing. And you've got the river or the lake or the pond, whatever it is, to fill up even more as required. So like you could not be more fulfilled in this relationship, okay? Um... I don't know about these wings, like maybe this person is going to come to you, I sense they're going to come to you through work because of the Knight of Pentacles, you're going to meet them through work or study. Um, there's something to do with flight here, like maybe you're going to have to fly for work, I don't know, that's not sitting right with me. Let me sit on it for a little bit longer, I can't figure out what it's about just yet. But, um, okay, so we've got the Nine of uh, Swords in reverse. So the Nine of Swords in reverse is very different from the upright meaning. So don't freak out if you're familiar with the tarot. The Nine of Swords in reverse talks about intuition and psychic dreams. And because you guys have this twin flame energy, and this talks about balanced spirituality and practicality, I think you both are in a very spiritual vibe already. Um, I think that you guys are going to be coming to each other through astral projection, through psychic dreams. Um, through your, you, you're going to know who this person is through your intuition. You may or may not have met them yet. If you're able to connect with each other through dreams, um, you're very close to one another already, like in time. Um, but I'd imagine that maybe you have crossed paths before, maybe without even knowing it. You could like live around the corner from one another without even knowing it. Um, but yeah, I definitely get the sense that you guys are coming to one another intuitively. Um, now because this energy is the Knight of Pentacles and we've got the Two of Pentacles as well. The Knight of Pentacles um, won't approach someone, won't give someone an offer of um, a relationship until they feel stable in their career because they like to know that they've got all their ducks in order so that they can come to this person with a stable offer, okay? They like to be the provider. So the Two of Pentacles, I think, I don't think you guys have met yet. I think this person is weighing up, weighing up whether or not they think they're financially adequate for you yet to come to you with this offer because they want to be able to offer you the world. They want to be able to offer you abundance and more than you can dream of, okay? They want to keep that, that cup overflowing constantly. They never want it to stop. And they're not going to come to you with this offer until they feel they're adequate enough, okay? So there might be a little bit of delay, um, which is perhaps why we're looking at four to five one months um, before they approach you with this offer of a relationship, okay? Um, but we do have the justice card here. Um, I feel like this is representative of you. I think you are ready for this relationship, um, but you need to balance your past um, perception of yourself with who you're going to become because this nine of cups um is really going to be devoted in loving you and they're really going to uh, see you as like the star see you as the sun like you're going to be everything to them so it's time for you to recognize that you were good enough it's time for you to um stop being self-effacing stop being self-depreciating and recognize your worth um, because I think it's going to help you manifest this person into your life. Um, I feel like perhaps in your past things have happened that have made you feel like less, like you aren't good enough, okay? And I think you guys are twin flames because your other person is weighing up whether or not they're good enough for you either, but they're coming from a more financial perspective, where I think you're coming from a more emotional perspective because 
this person is a knight of cups energy as well they know what they have to offer you emotionally they're just concerned about what they can offer you financially whereas i think you're more worried about what can you offer to them emotionally um okay but you need to understand your worth okay i think you need to meditate on yourself on your self-love okay um start making and doing morning affirmations i think that would be good for you and like look how beautiful the woman is regardless if you're a male or a female look how beautiful she is in that moon okay you're beautiful okay you need to acknowledge that because they certainly have acknowledged it and um i think even if you haven't met this person yet i think most of you have but even if you haven't i think this person is watching you um because we've got the crocodile energy so they might be watching watching you on social media or um watching you at work or watching you at uni wherever you are they know you exist <laughs> um and they're watching you but they're just lying they're waiting okay knight of pentacles as well um they wait until it's the right time because they don't want to screw it up they're happy with the slow burn as i said at the start okay they're watching you they're observing you to see when's the right time to approach you with this offer um okay and then we've got the snake energy and the snake energy is about kundalini which is your life force and um there is a sense of urgency with the snake energy okay um that you haven't got a lot of time to kind of get things alive to kind of wake things up um so i think your commitment is being tested is showing you know you've got to commit to your self-love okay you don't have you've got four to five months to figure this shit out before this person comes into your life so awaken your life force do some meditations focus on self-love um and you will manifest this person into your life maybe even sooner than four to five months if you're ready sooner than that um, but otherwise you've got that time you might even have a little bit longer um even if you do delay the process this person's coming into your life anyway they're your twin flame okay and they're definitely a twin flame because you guys are mirroring the same energy whilst they're opposites at the same time which is the classic twin flame so like this person is observing watching weighing up whether or not they're good enough for you in the sense of practicality and finances and you're weighing up whether or not you're good for them and maybe even observing them if you know who they are from an emotional perspective okay and you probably have your finances in order and they've got their emotions in order so it's quite funny um yin yin yang for sure and that's true twin flame energy right there okay so let's take a lesson or an observation from the mermaid oracle deck empowerment okay you're more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful okay recognize you are good enough you really are look again how beautiful she is okay and there's people around her celebrating her beauty this person will celebrate your beauty so you are good enough and let's take a message from the angel oracle deck okay surrender and release any self-doubt any negativity any um self-effacing thoughts get rid of it and i think maybe you might have been single for a little bit as well because i think a little bit of this is doubt in what's coming your way doubt in um this love that could be coming but you need to trust in the universe okay because you haven't answered prayer okay this love is coming your way no doubt about it it's just a matter of time all right so i hope this reading resonated with you if it did please like share and subscribe and i would absolutely love it if you leave a comment below um and if you'd like a personal reading with me then my email address is in the description box below otherwise i'll see you in the next reading bye bye